welcome. Hello, heart signs. Ooh, heart signs. Heart signs. Let's go. This is the love reading for um, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Heart sign people. It is the month of March. It is the month of March, Earth sign people. And uh, we are going to be looking at love. Normally, my love reading is from middle of March on, or middle of the month until the middle of the next month, okay? We can't have everything in four weeks. Um, readings are when it affects you, okay? All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's coming up for you, Earth Sign people. Earth Sign peeps, what is coming up, soulmate? This is wonderful. So, a lot of you could be meeting your soulmate or could be finding yourself in a soulmate relationship. So, um, this is going to be wonderful. So, soulmate is uh, the name of the game in this month. This is good. And then um, we have a friendship, okay? So a lot of you um, could be finding yourself in really, really good friendship. People are going to be coming in helping you. Soulmates are going to be coming in. You're going to be uh, caught up in friendship relationship. People are going to be aware of who you are and a whole lot of friendship relationship, but also soulmate relationships, okay? So if maybe you're ending a relationship, but um, the relationship is ending, but it is going to be ending in good friendship. And that is good when you end relationship in good friendship. So um, expect um, soulmates to come in, and this is going to be good. All right, let's see what's coming up. Ooh, the energy of the Empress, Empress. So this is good. A lot of you women are going to be standing in your power. Um, this is going to be extremely good, all right? And I see new love is going to be coming in for a lot of you women. You're standing in your power, and new love is going to be coming in for a lot of you ladies. I see um, they're recognizing what an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man have done. So a lot of you who are married to an, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man is going to be recognizing that this man has not uh, been honest, okay? Whatever is transpiring, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that this man is not honest. They're going to be recognizing the truth of who this man is. So I see a lot of information is going to be coming out. A lot of people are going to be loving you for who you are. Um, a lot of love, if you know, if you're single looking for relationship, love is uh, there. So don't be discouraged. Love is there. I see they're recognizing the truth of an Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman. What this woman has done, they're going to be recognizing some of you who are married to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian uh, um, man. They're going to be recognizing that this man and this woman have been having some sort of an affair and communication for a very, very long time. So it says, if you're married to this man, but his heart is um, on a Aries Leo or fire sign woman, something is going to be coming out about this woman because they're going to be recognizing something about this woman, whoever this woman is. So then I see, yes, <laughs> oh my God. So... Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to be recognizing something about this woman. This woman is not really honest. They're going to be recognizing who this woman is. Uh, something about this woman, the deceptiveness of this woman, they're going to be recognizing. So whoever is married to an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian woman and man, you are all going to be finding out something about your wife or husband or whoever you're in a relationship with, whoever this Aries Leo or fire sign woman is, they're going to be finding out something about this person. And whatever you find out is not going to be very nice, okay? And here, yes, it's not going to be very nice. And I see you're going to be bringing an end to this relationship. You're going to be like, no way, I'm not moving forward with you. I'm not going to be even working on this relationship. I need you to get out of my life. I don't want to be with you and I don't want to deal with you anymore. So whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, I see people are going to be recognizing 
um, some sort of a dishonest play of an Aries Leo or Sagittarian person, and they're going to be bringing it down and bringing it to a balance, okay? Um, so we see, yeah. <laughs> all righty. So here, I don't even see the card before. I'm telling you what is happening and coming up. And I haven't, as you guys see, and I haven't looked at the cards. So they're going to be bringing a situation to an end. Okay. A lot of you recognize uh, some sort of unfair games, whether it's in relationship with fire sign people are going to be recognizing some sort of unfair games of these fire sign people and what these fire sign people have been doing. And I see truths is going to be coming out. Um, this is the page of sword. The page of sword is bringing out a whole lot of information, a whole lot of truths that is going to be coming out. And whoever you are as an earth sign person that is in a relationship with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian, man or woman, they're in the reverse. So a lot of information. The page is going to be bringing you, and this is a page of swords, the page of swords. And the page of swords is going to be bringing you a whole lot of information about these people and what these people have been doing. And you're going to be standing your ground and standing your ground in full pleasure, standing your ground against these people and recognizing um the lies. So it's, it's as if a lot of you women who is in a relationship with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian man is going to be recognizing some sort of a lies from this person, but not all. If it's a Sagittarian man, for some of you women, um, this Sagittarian man is going to be showing you a lot of love because the Sagittarian man recognized that people were being very dishonest towards you. And the Sagittarian man is going to be showing you guys love. But if it's an Aries Leo, Oh my God, you're going to be finding out information about this person and what these people have done. All right, so truths, truths are coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, truths are coming out. There is no, um, um, you know, question about this. A whole lot of truths is going to be coming out. But the most powerful thing about it is that you ladies, because this is the energy of the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn woman, married women, you are going to be standing your ground over this woman. This woman is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. Whoever this woman is and whatever this woman have done, um, this woman has been intervening in your marriage or your relationship. And I see you're standing your ground because this is how the energy is. You women are standing your ground over this woman and letting this woman know, get out of town, get out of my marriage, get out of my relationship because I am not going to give up my marriage or my relationship for you. You need to get the hell out of town because it's not happening. I have been in my marriage building, working on my marriage for a very long time. And listen to me, you are not going to be standing and intervening in my marriage or my world. So lady, back up, back up. So I see a lot of you women, because this is the energy of the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn women, especially married women, you are going to be receiving some sort of information about uh, um, this lady and you're going to let this lady know, hey, lady, move on, move on because it's not happening, not happening on my watch. And if I feel like giving up my marriage, you are not going to be ending up getting a send from my husband. Not happening, move on, move on, okay? So some sort of information you could be also receiving of the play of this woman because you're going to be finding out the truth of this woman, okay? So men, men, men who are in relationship with an Aries Leo or a fire sign person, you are going to be receiving some sort of information, data, um, text message that this woman has been texting a Taurus, a Aries Leo or a Sagittarian man for a very long time. They have been having an affair and a relationship. So men who are married to an Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman, you are going to be receiving some sort of a data, information, email, and recognize that this woman had an affair for a very long time with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man. And a lot of you are going to be very, 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 um, not really surprising because you, you have known for a very long time that this woman was not very honest. And you are now going to be having the information, receiving the information, having the information and recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of your wife. That is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. A lot of you, it, it doesn't have to be your wife. A lot of you, it could be um, just um, your partner. 
but it is coming up as your wife okay so men get ready for this because you are really going to be finding out so you're going to be ending up having email message data to show that this woman has been having an affair on you for many many years so it is going to be coming up it is going to be happening you are going to be finding out about it in this timeline all right then we are moving and we are looking at uh, ending a lot of you who are in a relationship with an Aries Leo fire sign man is going to be ending this relationship um, whether it's a marriage whether it's a long-term relationship you are going to be decided no way I am NOT doing this I'm not dealing with this I am ending this relationship it's not going to go any further I do not want to have anything to do with this person this is going to be end and ending it right now because this man has played me for a very 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 long time okay and um as a earth sign person you are connected to water people so air sign um fire sign people have you're not going to be finding your soulmate with a fire sign people maybe friendship but not soulmate your soulmate you find with water sign people okay so um it is it is a month where a lot of you are going to be finding out that hey um i don't get along our relationship wise is not good with me and a fire sign person a lot of you are going to be finding that out in this month mm. cranberry all right, so I see a lot of you women are going to be bringing balance to your relationship, okay? And when we say bringing balance to your relationships, we're talking about um, taking the rein in your relationship, you know, um, letting people know what I will accept and what I will not accept. Standing your ground and recognizing the unfair things that was happening and transpiring and really, really standing your ground and showing up that, hey, I am someone that you need to have some sort of a respect for, okay? I'm someone who has been true to you and I am not going to be disrespect in any way. Whether you're in a relationship, whether you're in a marriage, you women are going to be standing your ground and letting people know to hear and no further. I will not accept your BS anymore. I am showing you that I know what it is to love myself. And that's what I expect that other people are going to be bringing in my life. And by doing that, by doing that, ladies and gentlemen, this is what is going to be happening. New love is going to be coming in your life. People are going to be loving you for who you are. People are going to be recognizing that, hey, hurt sign people, I can't play with them. They know what it is to love. And they or based in their relationship on love and this is the reason why if you are looking for love you gotta look at the water sign people or earth sign people okay earth sign and earth sign are soulmates so they can have soulmates relationship but if you're looking for love you have to go towards the water sign people okay cups people you can go with any cups okay but if you're looking for true love um, twin flame or soulmate relationship is always with your own um, uh, hurt sign or with water sign okay and I see that this is what some of you women step back and stand your ground and said hey um, this is where this is what I want in my life this is uh, um, what I need in my life this is uh, where I am and you're going to be receiving the love that you should um, have and you're going to be standing your ground showing up that hey I love myself and if I'm going to be open for a relationship I need to receive the same love that I love myself that people can show me how much I am meant and what is my worth and not to be walking over me stepping over me I know what my worth is and I see that this is going to be beautiful because this this is going to be showing up so much powerful powerful um, situation that is going to be happening and transpiring so much powerful alignment of energy that is going to be coming up where people are going to be recognizing um, the inconsistency 
and situation that was happening and how people are going to be recognizing, you know, the unexplainable situation um, that people are going to be recognizing. Hey, um, you know, I, 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 I love myself. So I know what love that I want to pull in my life. So a lot of you women, I see new love is going to be coming in. A lot of you are going to be recognizing um, men and both men and women is going to be recognizing if you're in a relationship with a um, um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarian man, um, they're going to be finding out communication between this Aries Leo or Sagittarian man and this Aries Leo and Sagittarian woman. They're going to be recognizing that these two have an affair for a very, very long time. So a lot of you are going to be actually happy in order to find the information. Maybe you're divorcing this um, fire sign man and you're going to be recognizing and finding the information over this fire sign man. A lot of you men that is in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman is going to be recognizing that it's time you end this relationship, that this relationship have only cost you disaster in your life. So whoever you are, men that is in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian woman, you're going to be recognizing it's time you end this relationship, this marriage whatever it is whether it's your child mother it's about time you end it because it only brings you a whole lot of disaster in your life and people are now recognizing and seeing the truth of the horrible horrible play they're going to be recognizing because they're going to be having information and data and seeing the horrible play of these people and what these people have done so True love is going to be coming in um, for a lot of you ladies. It's like a lot of you ladies have been going through um, our relationship and now you're really recognizing that your relationship, uh, you know, has been not what you have been looking for. And especially people that are in relationship with fireside people, you're going to be recognizing I'm looking for something else. I'm looking for something more. And you are definitely... Um, going to be recognizing and it's going to be showing up and recognizing that hey this relationship is not what I want and this relationship is something that I don't I don't need um, to deal with this relationship I don't need to be a part of um, this relationship anymore because um, I recognize my value who I am and a lot of you are going to be ending relationship and just leaving it cutting the bridges cutting everything and just leaving it so that ooh okay uh leaving it so that uh, you will recognize that hey i don't need uh, to have uh, um this sort of uh, um situation in my environment i am like uh, above all of this and you're going to be recognized and understanding that i love myself enough to say no to people um, um, ill-treating me and disrespecting me, okay? All right. So we have the Sword of the Roses, Clarity, Truth, Revelation, Solitude, Forces, Harmony, Protection, and Power. So a lot of you women, a lot of you women, a lot of you women are going to be finding this inner um, clarity, power, and recognizing, hey, these people have been playing a blind eye, using me, um, you know, putting a blind eye over my face. Um, and this is like whether it's in a relationship with, with a fire sign person. And all of a sudden, you're going to be having clarity and truth. Things are going to be revealed to you. Okay. The, um, the page of swords is going to be coming in and telling you a message is coming in and telling you guys, Hey, listen, um, you know, the relationship you're in, let it go. This is bullshit. You know, your, your value is much more, um, than what you're getting out of this relationship. And they're going to be coming in and showing up and said, let it go. You don't deserve this. And you're going to be start seeing the truth. Hey, I'm much better than this person. And as you recognize that I'm much better than what I'm being treated and how I've been treated, you're going to be recognizing, Hey, wow. Okay. All right, so they're going to be recognizing some sort of a lies and deceptiveness, clarity about an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man in another country, in another city. Um, you're going to be receiving 
um, what you need. The progress is going to be arriving, moving on and closing off issues. So a lot of you could be dis divorcing this Aries Leo or fire sign man. A lot of you are divorcing this person, cutting down, showing up the lies and deceptiveness of this person and what this person have done. And people are going to be recognizing the truth of who this person is and the lies and deceptiveness of this person. Whoever this person is, whether it's in another country or you're separated, you live separated, they're going to be recognizing what this person have done. And the truth is going to be coming in and they're going to be ending. So you're going to be ending some sort of a, a relationship or it could be a marriage that is ending. And finally, you're getting rid of this fire sign person. I see love is going to be offered to a lot of you. Unconditional love, self-love, um, 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 openness, passion and affection. This is going to be coming in because people are going to be recognizing um, by receiving information and data, the disturbed uh, of a fire sign person. Information and data is going to be coming in and showing the disturb of a fire sign man. A lot of you could have been um, seeing this man and you're going to be recognizing this man become a huge stalker. And people are going to be having information um, from this fire sign man and they're going to be recognizing how disturbed this fire sign man is a lot of you a fire sign person is going to be stalking you okay um, um, whether this fire sign person is, is going to be stalking you so you have to be aware of this a whole lot of you are going to be cutting off a Aries Leo or Sagittarian person whether this person is a lot of you men are going to be ending relationship, but blocking this person. You do not want to communicate with this person. Whoever this person is, is as if, you know, let it go. Don't call me. Don't communicate with me. I don't want to communicate with you. So a lot of you men are going to be standing your ground and letting this uh, um, uh, fire sign person recognize, hey, I don't want to communicate with you. I don't know who you are. I don't want to deal with you. Um, you have not been honest to me. And let it go. Let it go. Don't communicate with me. I know that you have done some immoral things in your life. And now is where I am stopping this. I no longer want to be with you. So a lot of you who are in relationship or marriage with a fire sign person, I see you're going to be saying, no, I don't want to deal with you anymore. You know, you have hurt me so more. You have done me so much injustice. And I... I'm, I'm, I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. So don't connect. Don't call me anymore. Don't connect with me anymore. Um, addiction, codependency, obsession, um, possessiveness, controlling. Um, I see that this is going to be over because it's as if an Aries Leo or fire sign person have been controlling you and your life for a very long time. And you're going to be taking back your life and your powers. You're going to be saying to this woman, no, it's not happening anymore. Let it go. It's not happening anymore. I don't want to deal with you anymore. Let it go. This is where it ends. I'm not moving forward with you because you have been a very controlling person and they're going to be recognizing this. So. Then we see kisses, kisses unconditional. So a lot of you who step back and end some sort of a relationship or marriage that was not going good. I see people, a lot of new people are going to be coming in. A lot of new people is going to be showing you affection. A lot of new people are going to be showing you and, and letting you recognize the truth of what was happening. And they're going to be giving you, uh, you're going to be um, given love, affection, um, a lot of people are going to be falling in love. This is going to be good. A lot of you, um, earth sign people are going to be recognizing that you are, you have a true value. Do not let people break you down because your heart is so good and people try to work against you, manipulate you and make changes. And you're going to be recognizing who this person is and what they have done. A lot of you, a break separation. You're going to be breaking and separating and stopping unhealthy patterns in relationship. It's as if you recognize, hey, there is so much unhealthy patterns that I've been carrying in a relationship. I'm breaking this. I'm ending this. I no longer want to deal with these unhealthy patterns, issues, and situation. And you're going to be breaking it, breaking it down, ending it, letting it go, and letting people understand, hey, um, this is where it is. I no longer want to deal um, with um, anyone that is treating me um, without an 
um, respect or without loyalty. Um, anyone that is disrespecting me, no way, I don't want to deal with this. And I see you are going to be walking away and ending some sort of an unhealthy relationship, unhealthy situation that was transpiring. So be aware of that. You're definitely going to be walking away. Passion, passion, insane chemistry, like um, liking each other equally and having fun. All right. So a whole lot of passion is going to be coming up. A whole lot of passion. I see insane chemistry. I see you're going to be meeting someone. So ladies, 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 a lot of you ladies are going to be having insane passion with someone. You're going to be meeting someone. I see the feelings are mutual. I see you're happy. Um, a whole lot of passion, insane passion is going to be coming in between you ladies and another person. So that is a soulmate. So you ladies that is going to be meeting someone and feeling this insane passion and feeling connected and equally loving this person. It is a soulmate. So here it is. Your soulmate is definitely, definitely going to be coming in. This is absolutely wonderful. Um, absolutely wonderful um people are now going to be recognizing that hey um finally i've been manifesting my soulmate and finally my soulmates are here and this is going to be good it is a, 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 a um a month of revelation when it comes up to relationship and how you yourself look at relationship and you yourself look at relationship with other people around you and this is going to be absolutely absolutely fabulous um, this is going to be a time where a lot of you are going to be recognizing who you are and truly accepting, um, you know, who you are as a person. And this is going to be good. Wow. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Love this, love this, love this, ladies and gentlemen. So it is a month of love where a lot of information is going to be coming in and clarity clarity um a lot of information and clarity because um not only love that is going to be here a lot of people are going to be showing you that hey you know there are people there are other people out there apart from people in your relationship that is a uh, you know showing you deceptiveness and trying to play you um whatever these are really true love is coming in i see unconditional love people are going to be coming in and letting you know how much they feel about you and you know I, letting you know you do not have to access unhealthy behaviors um with your partner or by other people um that you have had an unhealthy relationship with because you're going to be recognizing hey um i don't have to do that okay um then we see a lot of people it's like a lot of you uh, was a single and then all of a sudden you're recognizing whoa I wasn't aware that so much people, you know, had an eye on me. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing, whoa, all right. So clarity, passion, love is here, kisses. A lot of people are showing you a lot of admirers is going to be here. A lot of admirers, a lot of people sending kisses and that sort of a thing. All right. So let's get with the heavy part of the work. Pluto and the moon. Pluto on the moon. A lot of you are going to be receiving clarity about a clarity about a, a scorpion and a cancer. Clarity about a scorpion and a cancer. And a lot of you are going to be recognizing if you're in a relationship with a scorpion that they're in love with a cancer. A lot of clarity is going to be coming in. Uh, it could be that you're in a relationship. So, you know, whoever you are, it has to do with a scorpion and a cancer. And these two, a scorpion could be in love with a cancer. Or uh, a scorpion is going to be making it clear that, you know, they're choosing the cancer. And it's okay. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So a scorpion is going to make it clear that they're and they're choosing the cancer it's okay it's it's good it's good let it go all right then we see um some sort of a situation where you could have met someone overseas and i see transformation is coming up um some of you could have met someone overseas 
and this is the scorpion and the bull some of you have met someone overseas but it's as if these two are going to get getting divorced so if you met a scorpion and they were married to a, um, a Taurus, they're going to be getting a divorce. Some of you um, could be meeting a scorpion as coming in your life. This is someone who was born in another country, another city, and a Taurus. So some of you, new love is coming in. It's going to be a scorpion and a Taurus. And these are people who were born in another country, okay? Love, unconditional love. Unconditional love is... a um, where a lot of you decide to divorce. This is Skyden, divorce. So a lot of you who are divorcing a uh, Aquarian, a uh, Libran, and a, um, a Scorpion, a divorce is going to be coming up because you're going to be finding some sort of a information. So if you're in a um, relationship with an Aquarian, um a Taurus and a Scorpion, you're going to find an information that is going to be helping you with a divorce that is coming up or with a divorce that is going on. You're going to be finding information and data that they had someone else. Okay. So it's a situation where you're divorcing a, um, an Aquarian for some of you. Some of you, uh, um, you Tauruses are divorcing an Aquarian or a Scorpion. Of whatever is happening you're going to be finding that they have been seeing someone else for a very long time okay so it's as if it is going to be helping you with this divorce process so, all right a lot of you are cutting off a um a sagittarian and a gemini a lot of you are blocking cutting off a sagittarian and a gemini you don't want to have anything to do with a Sagittarian and a Gemini. You're cutting off the Sagittarian and this Gemini and you're ending um, a relationship. You're ending some sort of a communication with a Sagittarian and a Gemini. A lot of you are going to be finding out if you're in a relationship with a Sagittarian woman that she has been cohooting with a Gemini and the truth is going to be coming out and they're going to be recognizing the foul play. All right. So addiction um there's a whole lot of addiction and codependent a lot of you who was in a marriage with a leo you're going to be divorcing this leo woman you're going to be recognizing that this leo woman was so codependent and addicted to you and you have to be the one that was taking care of this person this person was sucking you dry i see you're going to be ending um a relationship with this leo woman I see a lot of you are, are going to be divorcing a Leo woman. You recognize I no longer want to be with this person. This person has taught me dry. This person have uh, created so much problems for me. No, I no longer. A lot of you are going to be asking a Leo for divorce. Okay. A lot of you, a lot of you are going to be recognizing and asking a Leo for divorce. You no longer want to be with this, especially the Tauruses. You're going to be ending, um, your marriage or your relationship with a Leo. You Tauruses are going to like cutting this Leo dry, moving this Leo out of your world. Then we are looking at impulse, um, the Aquarian and the Cancers. I see a lot of you who are in a relationship with an Aquarian, with an Aquarian. You're going to be recognizing that the Aquarian have some sort of affection for a Cancer. They say that they're friends, but it's not true. They're not only friends. There is more going on. So if you are married or in relationship with a Cancer, um, a Cancer is saying, okay, so I'm just friends with the Aquarian. No, it's not true. Vice versa. All of them are saying, the Aquarian is saying, oh, we're just friends with the Cancer. Cancer is saying, oh, we're just friends. No, 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 it's not true. There's more on the hunt. It's not only friendship, okay? Wake up, wake up. Not only friendship, wake up, okay? The ending, oh yes, changes. Whoever is in a relationship with a Cancer, I see you're going to be ending it. Whoever is in a relationship with a uh, if a Taurus is in a relationship with a Cancer, with a Libran, you're going to be ending it. Okay. If, um, you guys are in a relationship with an Aquarian, you're going to be ending it. So whatever is happening, um, whoever is in a relationship with a Cancer, a Libran or an, um, 
or an Aquarian, you are going to be ending the relationship directly. You no longer want to be in this relationship. Chop, chop, chop. It is over. Chop, chop, chop. It is over. So the breakup is going to be coming in. A lot of people, um, Cancer, Libran, and Aquarian, I see you're going to be ending the relationship, the marriage, whatever it is, you're going to be ending it. You're going to be finding out that they are not your soulmate. It's, a, it's as if a Libran and an Aquarian came in and pretend to be soulmate. They're not your soulmate. You are going to be ending it. The passion. Passion. A lot of you are going to be having some sort of a passion with a Libran or a Cancer. Some of you could be marrying a Cancer. Some of you could be having passion with a Cancer. A lot of you are going to be marrying a Cancer and you're going to be having some sort of a passionate um, interlude with a Cancer. So expect that. I don't believe in the, um, yeah, in the Capricorn Cancer relationship. I think there is passion between you and a Cancer, but marriage wise, um, I think Capricorn should stay away from it. Um, for the rest of it, it's a beautiful, beautiful month for love. It's, it's as if you earth signs, you Taurus, Virgo, or Cap uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorns are recognizing your value and you're not taking or stooping for any um, BS anymore. You recognize who you are. You're understanding for who you are. You're standing up for who you are and you're definitely making your mark you're showing up for yourself and making your mark and you're recognizing that there are certain people that create only chaos in your world and um you're going to be ending it so i see ending whoever is married to a cancer and libran and an aquarius you're going to be ending the relationship with this person all right ladies and gentlemen i gotta go but i'm saying namaste until next time Oh, 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 oh,